spiritual growth. In the following testimonies, the Apostle tells the followers of Christ that their faith and baptism is only the beginning of their walk in the truth to aspire to the full standard of development in the Messiah. They must grow beyond the milk of first principles. They must stretch out and consume the strong meat, the deep things of God. See 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 10. Of whom we have much to say and hard to explain since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food, for everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe, but solid food belongs to those who are full of age. That is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Hebrews chapter 5, verses 11 to 14. Therefore, leaving the first principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on, Unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God. Hebrews chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, because they are spiritually discerned. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 12-14 to 14. For God has revealed them unto us by his Spirit, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 20 Caution! Put not your trust in princes. Psalm 146 and verse 3 It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. Psalm 118 and verse 8 To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. For man is to live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. He is to add nothing to God's word, neither is he to diminish from it. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 2. Revelation chapter 22 verses 18 and 19 For all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable that the man of God might be perfect. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 and 17